today is the day. Sinless Zone Zero actually drops today. It's actually July 3rd. Go to their actual Twitch live stream. They have an actual live countdown for the game. So you can see right here, when this hits zero, that's when the game releases wherever you are globally. And also real quick, if you actually go to their stream right now and type in Bang Boo, you have a chance to win an Amazon gift card or even a PS5. So might as well just go in there, shoot your shot, see what happens. But just last night, they dropped a plethora of posts a bunch of like little giveaways or contests, you know, you can win this, win that, little like in-game lore stuff, uh, release countdown, event prizes, things like that. But most importantly, they went ahead and dropped this. Now this right here, star studied cast, guaranteed S rank agent in the first 50 signal searches. So this is basically a novice banner or a Noel banner, but it's actually integrated into the standard banner. So what's gonna happen is it says like you're gonna have a reduced cause for your wishes. The first to the fifth 10 searches cost 20% fewer master tapes. So wishes, right? It has to be a 10 pull. And basically you're gonna get a five star, a, guar or a guaranteed S rank uh, after your 50th one, I believe. But basically this is going to count towards the 300 that you have to do to get another guaranteed S rank character so it's actually really cool they're putting them both together so now you don't have to just basically waste a bunch of wishes on your novice banner and then have zero on your standard banner you actually have those both in one which is really cool so you'll probably have like 50 60 wishes to start out with once you actually like you know play the game for a little bit and get some wishes then talks about how the bang boos are going to be free or free but guaranteed <laughs> there will be some free ones log in and claim for like the wishes and things like that you do have to be inter not to level eight which is like world level eight we'll see how long it takes to get your actual level up but level eight is going to be where everything starts for the most part all the beginner things and just a bunch of just see wishes 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 rewards 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 main story um and this here was basically explaining that the 100 wishes it's actually like 70 standard pools and then you're going to get like 20 of the limited pools and another 10 pool as well. So like 30 limited pools and Bupons as well. But they actually upped the number to 180 if you look at their top post. So you can see 180 uh, over here. Yeah, 180 wishes on release. It says on release. I'm sure it's going to be distributed in different ways and how much you play the game and things like that. It's going to like, they're not just going to like drop 180 pools in your lap when you start the game. But you can get them over time, right? And this game just has something that can only be described as polish, you know? And I've noticed that like with other titles, they don't have that polish to it. And that's really important. It's, it's not as important as the main mechanics of the game, but it's just one of those things where you look at it and you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna like this. You know what I mean? Like you just, you can just tell. And I feel like Obviously, the other high risk titles had this. I feel like Project Mugen has it, and I feel like uh, Azure Promelia has it, you know? But as for the other ones, it just kind of looks generic, you know? Like, Withering Waves kind of has that generic look to it. And the game was super fun, don't get me wrong. But there's a certain look, you know? And like I said, Azure Promelia, Project Mugen, those games have that look. And it doesn't, have, it doesn't have to be open world either. It could just be just, you know, roguelite or turn-based or whatever. But it just has that specific look to it that I think really sells it. And I want to say the promotion for this game has been cool. But it seems like this game doesn't get that much viewership. And I like that. Because when a game gets a little too popular, too many people get involved. And then things kind of get weird. Some people kind of ruin it for others. And you get drama started and stuff like that. So I kind of like how we kind of have a underground-esque kind of community for this game. It's not like too many people involved. I know they had 40 million pre-registers, but it's not going to have 40 million people playing the game. You know what I mean? So as for the future of this game, I'm not asking for it to be this game-changing thing. I'm not asking for it to be this game-breaking thing. I'm not asking for it to be the next big thing or to top everything else. No, I'm just looking to have a good time, a good laugh. And clearly the animators work their butt off in this game. 
Uh, every single character's model is different from each other, like completely. They're all unique. You see how wiggly all the animations are and stuff like that. So, yeah, comes out today, today. So, I know people don't want to play so many different gacha games all the all at once because it's a lot. But, yeah, over on this channel, we have reacted to every single demo, all the trailers and music videos, even. So best believe we're going to be covering this game and going over all the stuff in it. So at first, I'm going to have a more reactionary standpoint because I just want to go into it blind and have a good time. But after that, we'll start getting into what's what and how we're actually going to maneuver through this game. So looking forward to it, you know, looking forward to it. What are your thoughts on it? Do you actually think you'll be playing this long term or just trying it out and going back to something else? Um, you know, what about the art style or like how the characters, things like that. We'll definitely get into it and I'll be over on Twitch tonight uh, at 10 p.m. East EST, EST, 10 p.m. The game should be live. Once again, there is that live stream as well. Go check that out as well to try, try and win something if you can. But that will be the game's release. It actually will be today for EST. Check your times. Make sure you know what time is going to release for you. And I'll see you there.